So the question of the day is, why every time I come to this post office, I'm almost about to beat this doggone postal worker up. And the only thing that be saving her spirit is the fact that she know that I can't touch her because she's a federal worker. But what she do not know is I am the type. I ain't tell y'all what I'm going to tell She just needs to stop playing with me. And the black chick knows she be messing with me. And she was like, she always give you a hard time. Yes. Not realizing that girl, I'm certified a fool. Like I don't. I, okay. But anyway, I got so many things to show you guys. I have so I have hauls to show you guys. I gotta do well probably by the time you see this video, you'll already see what's on my nails. I got wig reviews to show you guys. Like, I got so much stuff to film. So, just a heads up, you might see me in an outfit six or seven times throughout the month. Because y'all know I pre-upload. So, you're going to see that outfit six or seven times a month. Because I need to get these videos out of here. I need to do a try-on haul. I need to do a shoe haul. Thinking about doing a mukbang with the children. I don't know. But I got a couple of videos I need to get out. So, yeah. I'm on my way to Popeyes now because I have given up red meat and I want some chicken. And Popeyes got a $5 taco box. <laughs> I don't want it. I want it so bad. Y'all, this is just like people been trying my life this week. Child, after she tried my life, then a dude at the job pulled up. He was vending. He said, like, what bit you in your face? Now, normally I answer this question with grace because people just be concerned and don't know. But this day, like I said, my sister was in surgery and I damn it had had enough. And I said, well, that was fucking rude. I said, I don't know you, and you don't know me. He said, I was just trying to help. I said, are you a doctor? You got a doctor degree? You, you can cure this? I said, I have an autoimmune disease. There's nothing you can do unless you're a certified doctor. He said, well, I apologize. Oh, okay. Because that's kind of rude to ask somebody that you don't even know, don't kick it with, don't even, not even an associate with. That's kind of rude to ask them anything like that. And see, my, had my daughter been with me, my daughter lying to ask you because everybody know my daughter don't play by her mama. She lying to ask you what the hell wrong with your face. Like, because my children are really, over, I'm overprotective over my children, but my children like overprotective over their mommy. Especially since they know their mommy's sick. They don't play that. They be ready to like go off. So after he got rid of his rights, I left some water at my job. I always do this. The day before, I leave a bottle of water at my job. Mind you, I keep water in my trunk, but I always leave it on the shelf. Everybody know this. So in this instance, I left some water on the shelf. And when I came back this morning, the water was gone. So, mind you, I'm already knowing who took the water because there's only one person that eats flaming hot Cheetos and plants at my job. So, I text her and said, the next time you touch something that is not yours, you may want to ask and check and see if it belongs to anybody. So, that helpful responded and said, well, it had been sitting up there for a couple of days and I didn't ask you because I didn't think it was yours and I don't see what the big deal is but I'll buy you another water if it's that serious. Bitch what do you mean if it's that serious? First of all it's not that serious it's the point that number one it's not yours and it don't matter if I left it sitting there If I left it sitting there for two years, 
it wasn't yours you don't touch it and the fact that she touched it is what became the problem okay <laughs> So that is what became the problem. And then after that, I told her, I say, do you realize that we were taught this in grade school? If it does not belong to you, you do not touch it. Do you not realize that that is considered stealing? That means people are not going to want to leave their stuff around because they know that you're going to bother it and mess with it. I say, and this was stuff we learned in grade school. Our parents taught us this coming up when we were children. If it is not yours, you do not touch it, point blank in the period. She still was trying to act like she understand what I was saying. And I had to keep my composure because my next move, my next thing was to cuss her all the way out and then go on with my life but I had to keep my composure so this week has just been a trying week and now the post office lady playing with me as if I won't bust a cap in her ass and I'm just trying to figure out when did she get the feeling that I would not bust a cap in her ass okay well technically I can't bust a cap in her ass because she's a federal worker and that's fed time. That ain't regular time. That's fed time. You're going to go to jail. You're going to do time. You're not going to like it. Somebody's going to tell you when to eat, sleep, and wake up. And I do not want to go through that. So, I had to maintain my cool, y'all. i just been tried. I'm going to call this the trying week because I've just been tried this week. And I'm just tired of being tried. Like, right now, I'm just kind of trying to focus on my sister recovery and that she be okay and all uh, that jazz so it's like why is everything else trying to hit the hell out of me like I won't fight but when it's all said and done I got my stuff back I mean I got my stuff that I ordered I was going to mail off some fashion over jeans, but they want to charge me $10 to mail back some jeans that I ain't paying number $19.99 for, and I wasn't going to do that. So, I'm going to probably give them away in a giveaway and call it a day. Um, and that's about it. So, I guess, y'all, I was just renting because I was pissed off, and I just needed to be and talk to somebody and since my husband is at work and my cousin is at work <laughs> y'all who i had to talk to so y'all who i told my business to so yeah all right y'all i'm at popeyes i'm finna order my food because i'm hungry and go on with the rest of my day and hopefully it'll be great and my children don't know that they the ones cooking tonight because i cooked yesterday so, and I'm giving them an easy meal to cook. You ain't making up a meatballs. Like, it shouldn't be that darn hard. Alright, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Remember, if nobody taught you you're beautiful, remember Simply Key will always say you're beautiful because you simply are. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay. So, I got a list of things to do before 3.30. And what is the most precise? I woke up at six.